Yo, what's up? This is Brian Hunt Music of BrianHunt-Music.com And I'm coming with another Ableton Live tutorial on how you can make your 808s hit harder. So I just laid a little pattern, simple pattern down. I'll play it right now for you so you can see how it goes. Simple pattern, nothing special. But first thing I do usually when mixing 808s, I come here, select all my 808 pattern, and just raise the velocities all the way up. So it gives them a little bit more punch. So now that we got that done, you know, it gives it a little bit more punch. So now we're gonna go into the 808 main channel. And the first thing I do is I grab some EQ. So I want to go ahead and EQ this down. So I'm going to cut the highs out real quick. So I'm going to come down here to my fourth band and make that a really steep high cut. Bring this down a little bit. And then I'm going to cut until I hear the 808 slightly change. That way I know I cut the high notes, the high frequencies out enough. So I'll play that now. It sounds pretty good right there. I'm gonna basically do the same thing with the third band frequency. So I'm gonna go select another steep cut and bring it back down. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this first band and select a, a uh, low pass or a high pass, whatever it's called. Same thing. Same thing I did with the high frequencies. I'm going to do with the low frequencies and cut this up to give it a sharper sound. So that sounds pretty good right now. Let's just, just preview it with with and without. So here's with. All right. So that's the, take care of the EQ. The next thing I do, I come down and I add a little saturation plugin. It's a little distortion plugin to get the low frequencies to pop through, especially when you're listening on headphones, you wanna drive that low signal up. So we'll add some drive and then we'll bring down a dry wet knob. So that's the saturation, drives it and bangs it up a little bit. And the last thing I add is a plugin I have from Native Instruments called Neutrino. And this just adds a little bit, I guess a little more clarity to the thing. I don't really mess with the amount, I just mess with the detail. So I'll preview this. The 
that's pretty much all I do with my 808s. So if I turn all these devices off, I'll preview it with and without all these devices. So here's with. So you can definitely hear the difference in this plugin. And the last thing I would probably do would be add a compressor to this. Where is that? Last thing I would do would probably add a compressor, compress the signal. I usually do three one ratio. Uh, bring the tech down to 80, set the threshold roughly around 6. So that's how I mix 808s to get them to hit a little bit harder. I'm not a professional audio engineer. This is just what I do, so don't take my word for just 100%. Always do your research. But uh, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next in Ableton Live. This is how I mix 808s to get them to hit hard. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be trying to bring more content to this channel every week. So yeah, Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. I'm Brian Hunt Music. Peace.